Hey gang, I'm here with my good buddy Robbie Reedsma, HKUSA, SHOT Show 2015. I asked Robbie to take us through some of the changes and details on the HK416A5. Been out for a little while, a lot of questions on it. Of course, you got the flat dark earth action going on, so it's got the new hotness. Robbie, take us through the bad boy. Yep, absolutely, Larry. Um, this is the HK416A5. It's available with the flat dark earth coloring or in black. Um, there's a couple of features that's been improved upon since the standard HK416. And we'll just start from the front and work our way back on this. So up at the front, uh, barrel length is now going to be 11 inches instead of 10.4, uh, and that's so we can accommodate the uh, adjustable gas block regulator on the front. Uh, it's still available in 14.5, et cetera, uh, going out. Um, so your adjustable gas block regulator in the front right here goes from, from normal being in the end setting over to S in the suppressed setting by simply turning it, or you can use a flat object once it gets hot, et cetera. Got it. Um, flip up sights, uh, and again, we can put any type of, of sights that the customer may need on this thing. On the Picatinny rail right here, the lockup on the older 416s, there used to be a flat space that uh, was unusable right there. Uh, so now it's complete Picatinny going all the way down the top of the rail system. Uh, the rail system lockup's a little bit different with the upper receiver on this one compared to the old ones. Inside the, uh, on the barrel with the gas block, that's now heat pressed as well as roll pinned on there. So that's one complete unit as it would come to a customer. Okay. Uh, moving down to the back on the, on the uh, magazine well, uh, the magazine well now has more of a flare to it, more in line with current US options and magazines that are out there. The weapon is completely ambidextrous, so just flipping this guy around here, you see all your standard controls on one side, and then same thing on the other. So your magazine release, your uh, your bolt release, all that stuff is on either side, as well as the selector on the uh, on the safety. Working further back down the gun, you can see a, a heavier duty castle nut. Um, that castle nut, again, just more durability, and then again, a multitude of stocks that go on it. This one happens to have the, uh, the flat dark earth coloring on it. Something that came out of drop tests and whatnot, they decided to reinforce that area? Yep, absolutely correct, Larry. Absolutely cool. correct. And then the charging handle also, you can flip the, the, the lever from one side to the other? Yes, correct. On the, uh, on the charging handle, um, it fits into the older HK416s as well. It's reversible from left to right. Uh, armor or you know, operator in the field with a couple of roll pins. So that'll go through and locks on to either side. Now, any clue when these things will be available here in the U.S.? Uh, I don't know yet. We can take orders for them uh, for government law enforcement customers. I'm not quite sure when they're going to be available at this time. Yet. Good deal. Well, you may remember this guy from back in the day. He did a HK416 episode with me on TAC TV. Did a great job. Well, thank you. I had a lot of fun doing it. And once again, well done. Thank, thank you, you, brother. Thanks, Larry. Back at you. Hey, thanks for watching the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel. To subscribe, click here. And to watch some of my favorite videos, click here. Have a good one. LAV out.